This is a lithium battery charger, which is kind of unusual because you didn't think uh, nine volt batteries come in lithium. Um, I've been testing this out on the on the zappers a lot, and um, they really do have a long life. Um, seems like this one battery, you know, this is Chinese quality, right? So this seems like this one battery is always the one it needs to charge the most. You see how that light was lighting up? Um, it's um, I marked it with a uh, blue, so I know it's always this one. Seems like maybe one of these is somewhat defective, but still, even so, the same thing is they are they have a lot more power than the nickel metal hydride batteries that are like uh, typically uh, two to 250 milliamp hours. These are 600, and the charger works much much quicker. It's uh, it's it's good because you don't. You don't have to worry about the timing on it and stuff. Basically, uh, you put them in there. Excuse me, this goes this way. <laughs> you put them in there, and uh, it just shuts off when it's you know the light shuts off when it's all done. And it only takes a few hours. Now, I've been using um, the uh, Beck style zapper quite a bit uh, last several days, and uh, I got. I gravitated to using this type of batteries because they charge up so damn quick and I ran this thing probably about 30 hours and this is the test light on there was still showing good it has like a little green test light in there you see that it's just still so the batteries is having plenty of strength so I'm just recharging them you know right now just so to make sure they don't run low because it only takes a few hours um, the other side of it is these fit in the compartments of all the devices a lot better because the 8.4, the typical rechargeable batteries are 8.4 volts. They're, um, they fit in all of the battery compartments of all the devices, but the 9.6 volt batteries, rechargeable batteries, are usually a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker, and sometimes you got they're kind of a tight fit to fit in devices. These fit no problem. So they're they're exactly like a standard alkaline voltage. Like when you get an alkaline battery, it's nine volts. Well, these are 9 volts, okay? So, just starting off the right voltage. And the capacity is tremendous. 600 milliamp hours is... Um, that's like about double the very best um, rechargeable 9 volt batteries out there. Plus, the charger takes a lot, like half... Not even half the time, and you can't go wrong with these little blue lights on here. Once those are all out... You see, that one's on just a little bit. That'll charge... This one, just the one that's, even this one battery that's kind of shitty that seems to go down the most, it still works. It still works pretty damn strong. And, uh, you know, when you're using them in these zappers, that makes them put out the correct voltage a lot longer. Now, this thing does have, this will show a green light when it's, the battery's got enough strength and it goes to a red light when the battery's voltage gets too low and it actually has constant current circuitry. But even with the constant current circuitry in this zapper, the um, it's still going to have a little higher voltage if you're starting out with a good quality battery that's 9 volts versus an 8.4 standard rechargeable battery. The 9.6 rechargeable batteries will probably put out about 10 volts in here, no problem. But um, they, they fit in here a little tight, but the other side of it is they don't they don't last anywhere near as long as these damn things, these lithium ones. Even though this, those 9.6 free volt rechargeable batteries are top quality, this lithium technology is far better. And hardly anybody, you know, you, know, you can't buy this. And, you know, if you go in your box stores like Target or some crap or Walmart or whatever the hell it is, you're not going to find this. you got to order them online. you got to use that special charger. You can't put these lithium batteries in a nickel metal hydride charger. you got to use this charger. But um, they, the, the, the length of life on these batteries is freaking tremendous. And the, well, it's just like with power tools, right? Like uh, when you're using your power drills and stuff, the lithiums are, they charge up quicker, they got more power, they last longer. That's the same. I don't know how to do this, but I think, like, like I said, the Chinese quality is a little spotty. This one right here is probably defective, it still works. But this is one that's always the one that always needs the biggest charge all the time. This one draws down the fastest all the time. So, um, but either way, you know, I don't know if that means it's defective. Maybe that means it works and it's just pulling out more. Maybe these aren't. Pull I don't know what the why that is like that. But 
Um, overall, the performance is great. Um, it'd be kind of cool if a USA manufacturer made these to higher standards, but um, yeah. So when you're using this, you're gonna get you're gonna get a hell of a lot of length of time of before you got to recharge these. And since you got a charger that charges four of them up, you're always gonna have one at the ready. So, and it comes in handy when you're using these type of uh, zappers that require four batteries because. You know, you don't want to spend 12 hours freaking recharging batteries and taking a guess if, if you overcharge them and undercharge them and shit like that. And uh, with this thing, it's a no-brainer. And it's, like I said, 600 milliamps. I, I saw that spec. I said I couldn't believe it, but it seems to really be true when I'm using the zappers. Um, they, you know, they they do last easily double what they were with the best nickel metal hydride batteries. So. This damn thing, it's probably about right with the 600 milliamp um, advertising they put on there. Um, which is about triple most of the rechargeable batteries out there. So, there you go, man. That's some, that's some good shit. Yeah, I just want to say I've been running this uh, Beck-style zapper with four of those lithium 9-volt batteries for, I don't know how many hours now. God, oh, probably 35 hours or more. You see that the test light on the battery it's still working great so that's telling me well I think the lithium batteries that they get charged and discharged and reused several times in the beginning um, they got stronger they, they seem to be holding more power now so I actually have this cranked up pretty high it's the right light you can see probably it's more in the middle right there so think of even if I have it all the way up yeah see the bat normally that wouldn't do that all the way cranked up unless the battery's like brand new so normally when I crank it all the way up and hit that test light even if the batteries are still pretty good the test light will go off that's because it's drawing a lot more power out of the unit now the reason the only reason I'm using this Beck style zapper is I'm actually running an experiment with uh, mega vitamin C and a Beck style zapper. Better zappers that kill a lot more microbes than this thing would be the Clark style zapper than it, which would be the Paris zapper. But um, it's a thing called transfection that this thing does, especially at 4 hertz, to the body cells. And I'm assuming that the vitamin C is getting inside the, um, the blood cells a lot better due to the transfection process. That's one of the reasons I'm running this a lot. I'm actually running both these zappers a lot and taking a lot of vitamin C mm. anyway but far as far as the batteries go initially they're not going to be as strong the first time you use the lithium batteries the lithium 9 volt you discharge them with use and then you recharge them and you know you discharge them again you put use do that several times several cycles and they're going to start holding a lot more power you might not notice that real powerful 600 milliamp 600 milliamp hour rating in the beginning. Although I did notice they were stronger, but now I notice they're a hell of a lot stronger than the other batteries out there. So and they charge up a lot quicker too. So that's another advantage to them. So those are the ones you want to use with the zappers. And with this type of zapper, you only need one battery. So like I said, I'm running an experiment with this with mega vitamin C. It'd be hard to tell if the experiment works or not, but I can tell you one thing, I sure got a lot of energy. <laughs> 